Welcome back everyone to Boring Build Friday. We're going to get some work done on our 2007 GMC Yukon. If you're just tuning in, link up above, we'll get you up to speed. Let's get started. Must be afternoon. The afternoon crew is here. We're going to let her try out my favorite toy. Here go. Hurts my finger. Squeeze harder. Yeah. That hurts. Now you're squeezing hard. Oh. Okay, that's enough. My turn. You can't have all the fun. Cue all the safety experts. Yes, no gloves, no safety glasses, and no hearing protection. I like living dangerously. It didn't work. Oh. This is all bound up in here and I just take that off so that I can see why. Sometimes it's the... See? Sometimes it's just because the handle was in. The door. There's tension on it. When the, so when the skin is pushed in, it's like holding the door handle partly open and it won't unlatch. That's all we do is take the tension on it. So now we got our doors open, ready to take them off. We'll disconnect the wiring harness first. Pull the boot back, disconnect the little tabs for the plastic piece. Pull the kick panel on. Trim panel on the side of the dash. Now we can access the wires. Unplug them, push them all through. Okay. And wrench. So now these doors, bottom bolts go through the hinge and into the door. You just have to unbolt them from the door. The top have a pin, so you can just unbolt the pin and the door will stay in place. And you just lift it off. Why GM couldn't use both hinges like that, I don't know. I just lift it off. This is not Put it down. The door check in these is in the lower hinge, so you don't have to take that off separately. So now we'll take the rear door off, disconnect the wiring harness. Same way. Pull the rubber boot back, get the little plastic retainer, squeeze the tabs in. Get to the plug and unplug it. These hinges work the same way as the front. Just unbolt the bottom one from the door. Pull the bolt out that holds it down onto those pins on the top. And just lift it off. Now we got our parts truck. We're gonna take our doors off, put them on the other truck, see how they fit. Stop. Yeah. Well, first, we're gonna put our old doors on this truck. Can you grab the back? Just so the interior is somewhat closed up from the elements. And it gives me a place to store my parts. I'm going to need the door panel, wiring harness, stuff like that out of these doors. I'm putting the truck back together. Oh, healing on me. Now I can unbolt the front door. Alright, 
and grab the back. And replace it with a slightly damaged one. Close the door a little bit until it slides down on the pin. Put our bolt in there to make sure it stays. And bolt our lower hinge in. Tuck our wires back in. I'll pull what's left of the tail light out. Start pulling all the interior out. Take all this and put it over there. Got some bonuses here. Some floor mats. Just like here? Yep. Lots of extra glass. So we're going to dump this out directly in the garbage can so we don't have glass all over the place. I'll vacuum up some of the glass. For the first of many times. If you've ever had a tempered glass broken, you know how much of a pain it is to get it all out of there. You find glass forever. Pull the lower trim off, just lifts up. Pull our cargo cover out. Just gonna take the D pillar trim off, or at least take the screw out of it. We'll get that upper trim piece off. We'll need that off eventually to access the plugs for the lift gate. Now we just pull the D pillar trim out of all the clips, unplug the speaker. Pull that lower trim out. Now I got the C pillar trim. Now we get the lower trim out. Disconnect the cigarette lighter. Disconnect the lower seat belt bolt. Get that seat belt fish through the C pillar trim and get it out of there. Take out the cargo hooks. Vacuum up some more glass. Again. Pull the closeout panel off for the seats. Hides all the brackets. So now we can get all the brackets out. You can take it out in one big piece, or you can take it out in two different pieces. They're kind of heavy and awkward, so I'm going to take them apart. These screws right here. Take the two seats apart. They fold it down and latch it onto the bottom bracket. Otherwise, it's like trying to manage a heavy slinky.
This seat's a little easier. It's a third the size. We're going to discharge the AC system. The heater box in the back also has AC lines running to it. So we have to evacuate the refrigerant. That was quick. I'll pull the seatbelt out. Now we can disconnect those AC lines. Just one knot that holds on the AC lines. And we can take the radiator hoses off, heater lines, and nice antifreeze shower. I have to take the clips off for them because it won't fit through the holes in the floor with those on there. To correctly install those lines, those should be in the lines anyway. Now we can disconnect our HVAC box. And ground wire. And lift it out of there. I'm going to fold the carpet up. I'm not going to take it out because you have to remove that other trim pin on the other side. So I'm going to risk some fires, make it interesting. I can put our doors on from our parts truck. See how they fit. Set that top hinge down on the pin. And then get it to drop down by opening it and closing it. Falls down, bolt it in. Bolt in that lower hinge. And put the front door on. Same way. down into place. and see how bad our doors close. Pretty bad. So, over to the frame rack. So that D pillar is pushed in. We're gonna have to pull it out a little bit. Got a new afternoon crew. Unbolt the lower hinge. There was some paint flaking on there, so it was kind of obvious it was going to be pushed in a little bit. We'll put our pulling bracket in, bolt it in where the hinge goes. This is a nice, easy place to pull. Hammer out a little buckle that's in there. This is just the rough pull. It looked about right. It's our rough pull. Let's 
So yeah, our front door closes. Remember before? Yeah. Like there's the first latch, and that was as far in as it would go. So it tells us we're pretty close. Makes us feel better that we did something right. Thought we were pretty close. Now we're going to check and make sure we were. Measure it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Right on. Yep. All right. So since it measured out perfect, ready to throw our door back on. See how our rear closes now. Pull our D pillar trim off, and uh, our door is fine. Start on the back end. We get this big dent out of here. So we're gonna drill a hole, pretty good sized one. Sometimes you gotta make things worse to make them better. So now we're gonna bolt our clamp with a big plate on the back. That plate will allow it to pull that entire piece out instead of just one little point. We're gonna end up changing a lot of this anyway. I'm gonna pull it just so that all the adjoining panels will be pulled into place. And I might be able to save some of what's in there. Open the door so that when you're pulling it, you're not pulling the door out of alignment. Pulled it out, now we're going to pull it back. A little stress relieving, more for me than the truck. We're going to trim out some pieces so that we can get to the inner pieces. Most of the outer panels aren't structural. They're just there to make it look pretty. So we need to get to the stuff that's actually bent and matters. In the pile. We're just going to trim away everything we need to to get to the pieces that are inside. So that bottom piece is folded up pretty good. We'll cut a little door in here so we can get a clamp on it. And the pile. So now we can throw our clamp on. Give it a pull. A little stress relieving. Hammering out all the kinks in it. Getting it straight. Pull it a little more, hammer it a little more. Just keep doing that. Now the front of it was folded up, so in order to pull it down, just throw a slide hammer on it. Keep the tension on there from the frame machine. Now we're going to trim away some more of the quarter.
It's just an excuse to use my favorite tool. In the pile. Just keep trimming, just keep trimming. In the pile. We're gonna get this awesome foam out of here. There's a little plastic piece underneath and they put the foam on top of it. Foam sticks to everything and helps it rust. We'll put it back in, just not that one. Trim off a couple more pieces in the pile. So now we can pull this piece around. And stress relieving on the back. It's supposed to be flat. Had a good kink in it. So we're gonna hammer it all out. I'm gonna end up saving that piece. Because to change it would be a little difficult, so I'm gonna work around it. And it straightened out pretty nice, so. We're gonna use our saw. Make sure you grab one with the dullest blade possible. I would use the air chisel, but since I was cutting through multiple panels and different planes, it's really difficult. So if you just cut with the sawzall, you get through everything at once. And then when you get to the single panels, you just hit it with the air chisel. And the pile. So now we're gonna remove some spot welds. There's one or two that are broken in there. We'll put the slide hammer in there. Just tear the rest of them off. So much easier than drilling. The inside panels that are mounted to the floor are much thicker, so I knew that the panels on the outside would tear first. That's the only reason I did that. In the pile. We're gonna hammer out the floor a little bit so I can get a clamp on there to pull it out and straighten the floor. Why I chose not to record the floor straightening, I don't know, but I didn't. So now this is that back piece where we had the clamp on. I'm just going to hammer it out. You can see where all the paint is flaked up and this was all wrinkled up in there. So there's supposed to be a little bevel in there. We're gonna get most of it flat, and we'll put our bubble in later. This is pretty much what I did on the floor too. Since I was tired of glass raining down on my head, I decided to take the back window out, or at least what's left of it. Maybe knock some more glass on the truck since I seem to like vacuuming. At least I can make the clean freaks happy, because the safety experts really hate me today. So tune in next week when our parts truck here goes through a rapid weight loss program. So like the video if you found it interesting, share it if you think somebody else might. Subscribe to see the rest of this build. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.